All right, we are going to try and knit headband and a scarf. Um, we are going to first use some contrasting colors. I'll show you the colors in a little bit. But what we want to do when we cast on is we're going to go, we're going to weave it in and out, in and out. So you want to go around that first peg, I'll go back of that, in front of the next, and then back, in front, back, front, back, I hope you can see this, front, back, front, all the way around till we get to the beginning. See how I'm going in front of this peg right here? And then in back of this next one. Now anybody's got a knitting machine, you know, they know how to do this. Um, for those of you don't, that don't, um, you're just going to weave it back and forth, one in the front, one in the back, until you get to the beginning. Now, if you can see this, my number one peg is this one. So right before the number one peg, I marked, um, this one, so I knew that it was going to be. Alright, so I already know this is going to be... So, now you want to set your tension. So you have four tension setters. I think I used this one the last time. I'm going to use this one or that one. We're going to try this one and see how tight the tension is. And then, of course, there's another one back here. So, we're going to plug the machine in. We're going to do some knitting. Um, like I said... I needed to use a contrasting color, which is going to be this one, because what I'm going to be knitting is, um, this is going to be the main color. Now, it's a color that was picked by my grandson. Um, he wanted like a black and white. Uh, this is called Cream Black. It's a scarfy yarn by... Lion brand. Now this one's a number five bulky. Uh, we'll see how it's going to work in the machine. Uh, 312 yards, but I'm going to make a matching scarf. So let me get this other yarn casted on and the machine um, plugged in. Okay, so I cast it on 10 rows of this contrasting color because that way when you go to have to crochet it together later it'll be a lot easier to see the black thread so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one out of the tensioner I'm going to toss it into the middle here there like that I'm going to take my main color And let's see if I can do this while holding on to the camera. It goes down in this middle here. <laughs> and let's see if I can put it up and show you. I don't have a very big camera stand, so I'm going to leave a little bit of a tail. I want to get this right down in here. And I'm going to use that same tension that I used earlier. Okay. And then really all I have to do is turn it on and see what it does. But first, I'm going to reset my counter. Let's hold that button down. Alright, let's see what happens here. Let's see if you guys can see what I am doing. Put your camera back a little bit. Alright, let me look at the camera. I think you can see what's happening. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to turn it on and let's see what happens. Now, for this headband, I know I'm going to need probably about 80 rows. 80 to 90 rows. So, let's see how this yarn works in here. And there we go. Yeah, I know it's a little loud. But, um... I just kind of want to hold that down a little bit. 
grabs it. I'm just, no, uh -oh. I got stuck for some reason. Let me turn this off. I think it's a yarn. That, oh, yarn's got a. Mm. All right. So I don't want to hold on to the yarn there, but I do want to pull it and pulling it from the stain so that you know it's not tight or anything or whatever. But is it this loud? It is. Is it a bummer? It is. Um, I wish it wasn't, but maybe someday they'll make a quieter machine. Let's stop it here for a second. Yeah, someday maybe somebody will make a quieter machine. Um, but for right now, I mean, I can sit here and just kind of like watch TV if I want. Um... And like I said, I just gotta, I just pull the skein out a little bit at a time so that it doesn't get tangled or caught. And I'm already up to six rows. Now, can I sit here and crank it with my hand like this? I can. Um, like I said, it works just like all the other knitting machines. Um, so if I so choose to crank it, I can. But you know... Sometimes your hand gets tired, and uh, that's what makes this nice. And lordy, lordy, I dropped my first stitch. We'll fix that in the end, one way or another. <laughs> I'm not taking this all off. So let's run the machine for a little bit and see how it goes. I'll just pull up from the skin. I have it sitting in a bag. Let's go. We knot it again. See, this is a bulkier weight yarn. Um, I know I used yarn like this in here before. This one seems to want to I'm not sure what it's doing. Now let's see. There was a little knot in there that I had to take care of. Uh, I hadn't noticed previous. So, let me just let it keep going and let's see what we do in the end. So it's just going to keep cranking and show you what it looks like from the front side. I'm just going I'm just grabbing up the yarn here and there. And so see I have my yarn down here in a little bag and I just kind of pull it up as it you know, coming around so it doesn't snag or anything. So, I'm at row 13. I'll come back when I'm like at row 85. Okay, let's see if I can show you how to do this. So, um, I did 90 rows. And what you want to do is, we take this and I just have a small table here. I'm sorry guys. I live in my room. So we want to kind of stretch it a little bit. Acrylic yarn is very stretchy. Okay. Now we want to find. Oh, I'm caught here. Now we have this cast off waste yarn, whatever you want to call it, for a reason. Now this is the starting end right here. Now. We want to start at the other end, but first we want to make sure everything is even. Now, we use this different colored yarn so that I can see these stitches 
to pick them up. We'll crochet them together. Okay. But first, you want to make sure that this is even. You want this all the way down here. And then we'll kind of stretch it and follow it along. Because we want the other end to end up in the same area. Which is this right here. Okay, so we want this to be at the end. And then of course we have this. Now here we will pick up right up here. We'll pick these stitches up, we'll crochet them together, and we will finish down here. Now, so long as everything seems to be going together well, which it does. Okay, so now, see I got these two right here. See? Oh, maybe I'm off camera. Now these two right here. So we're going to go crisscross back and forth now. I don't even know what size hook I have right now. Um, well, this one's a four millimeter. Um, yeah, of course, I don't have my bigger hook up here. Let me see. That's a three. No, I don't want that one either. Well, I'm going to go with the four. I would have went with a four and a half, but... So, I'm going to pick up this one here. And we're going to move over to this one. And then we're just going to loop it under. So it's kind of like doing, you know, just one small chain. Make this. Loop it under. Um... Come over here and get the next one, which is this one. So you're going to do this all the way down to the end. Um, and make sure you're picking just, no, well, on this one it's just the gray one, not the blue. And then, and then loop it under. So this way we'll have a nice stitch all the way at the end. Okay. So come over here. Come over to this one. Make sure you just grab that one loop. Come over here. And you just find the next, the next loop, not, not the blue, because this blue will come off, okay? We will pull the blue yarn off in a little bit. So, I'm just going to work this all the way to the end, and I'll meet you back here. Right, can you see what I'm doing, I'm hoping? See, I'll show you one more time. I'm grabbing this one right here. Not the blue. Just this gray right here. And then I come back over to this side. Grab it. And just loop under. Alright. You see I'm making the edge here. Alright. Meet you back here in a little bit. Okay, so on this particular one, in order to, you know, pull this waist yarn off, so this is a side that we started with, it's the first side, you do have to go through and just kind of pull it, you can see where it's loosely here, okay, I'm just going to pull that out. Alright, I'm going to go all the way around till, till I get to the beginning, uh oh, I just knotted it, how did I do that, I don't know, but I did, there we go,
Just keep pulling this out. Turn it a little bit. It looks like a little bit of a hot mess right now, but that'll be fine. Now, this waste yarn, I will roll it up. I will use it again on, you know, a different project. Just find out where it's loose until you get back to the beginning. And then it'll come out really easy. Uh, I think one more. Now the other one wants to rip up, but I gotta get the beginning out first. I think I got it all. I'll just take this and kind of start winding it around my fingers, make a little ball of some sort. Um, I caught up here. Okay. So then you just take and you start unraveling it, kind of making a little ball here with my fingers so that I will be able to use it again on another project and stuff. Yep, I got my gray got tangled in here. That's not good. I got that undone here. Oh. Lordy lordy, I'm having issues tonight. Must be the coldness that's happening down up around here. Yeah, get up to the side there for a second. And I will just continue to take it off. See, it just pulls out really nicely and stuff. And then I'll roll it up into a little bitty ball here so that I will be able to use this waste yarn for uh, another project. Be back. Okay, so once I got everything off of there, this got a nice cast off edge here. Okay, now this piece I'll just tuck it on the inside, you know, cut it down a little bit, tuck it on the inside, and it'll be all good. Alright, so I'll just use my handy dandy little needle and uh, wrap it around my thing. This is how I do it. Bring it in. And all that and I'm just gonna put a small knot here just make sure it You don't have to do this. This is all going to get stitched in together anyways. Where is the... There we go. Just make me one little knot. I just want to secure. Make sure it's going to stay together. This is all going to get stitched in when I do the headband. So now we just poke it through. Bring it through. Like so. Snip, snip. There we go. Alright. This, this side is done. Now, I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other side. I want to make sure that everything lines up right. So, oh, I know we got this. Now, on this side, I did drop a stitch, so I had to pull it in with this. I put a stitch marker on it so I wouldn't forget it. In fact, I got a 
pop it through here. So if you ever find yourself, you dropped a stitch, if you have some kind of stitch marker, whether it's this, a bobby pin, or whatever, just make sure you pick it up. So, same thing with this one. Um, I've got it all down. And it appears to everything is straight. So these two lined up here. So that's good. Now, I'm going to start doing the same thing. I'm going to pick up this stitch. Go into this one. Bring the loop through. And come back to this side. We do not want that blue in there. This is hard to do with the camera right there. Not used to that. There we go. See, bring it through. Grab this one. Make sure there's no blue with it. Bring it through. I can do it this way. And then I'll go to this side. And we're just going to grab every loop here. Alright. Bring it through. Grab this one. Bring it through. And I'll do this all the way down this one also. Alright, let's just grab one loop from one side with the crochet hook. Pulling it through the loop. Just like so. Now, like I said, I'll get this going all the way down. We'll have a nice cast off edge and I'll meet you back here in a little bit. Okay, let's see if I can show you how I do this. How am I gonna do this? Alright, so first of all, kinda stretch it out here a little bit. Uh if I can grab my tape measure. This thing measures zero right there. This measures looks like 21 inches. Okay. And according to my tape measure, whoops, there are on this particular item, it looks like there are one, two, three, four, about five stitches per inch. Okay. It's about five stitches per inch. So, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of fold it in half. Now, on this side, I'm going to use, oops, moving you around here. I'm going to use this string to start, you know, sewing stuff in. So, we're going to like fold it in half. And then, we're going to put each half into each other. See how I did that? Fold it in half. Fold it in half. Bring it up to each other, kind of twist it over a little bit. And then you just sandwich this all in there. Let me see here. You just kind of sandwich it all in here like so. Now, you want this to, you know, to even up. Now I will take this, this, hopefully I have enough. And we're going to stitch this back and forth. So, let me get my darning needle. Darn, 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 darn. And I will show you. Now, how I put this on is I like to just pinch it in there. And then I just take it and go up like so and pull it through. Alrighty. I think I have this pretty even, I think. I want this up here because you want to get all the um, see we're just going through this top right here 
because we don't want no gap in there you know once we stitch it and everything so I'm just gonna go through all this pull it through okay. tighten it up a little bit secure it and I'm gonna go through the next one I have a feeling this isn't gonna be enough you know, to finish I don't think I kept enough off pull it through now I don't pull too tight you'll end up snapping your yarn but you, you want to make sure you get even this little one down here that likes to try and hide on me go through all of them okay I'll go through the next So we're just stitching all the way down. Now you don't want to go all the way down into it. You just want to get like right here. All right. So let me finish this. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I'm at the end here. I just, you know, did my last stitch. So we're going to, you know, got this loop from the last stitch. I'm going to put my needle through it and tighten it up so we have you know, a little bit of a knot. Now, let's see if I did good. <coughs> I'll probably do another knot just to be on the safe side. So now, this will be on the inside. So, now we just take and turn it inside out it down and get a whoops having a little problem here this has to go up there we go there now I will just straighten it out here a little bit and there you go. Here's the front of the hat. Um, looks like all the stitches went through just fine. It's all sewed down good. And there we go. Nice little headband. And then uh, I will make a matching scarf for this one. But there it is. Once you flip it and everything, get it where you want it. There you go. What a now this headband was done oh, at about 30 minutes or so. so. It doesn't take long. And there you go. There is his headband. I will make one more knot and then I'll just sew the end in. There you have it. And that's on the uh, what's it called? Jammet Electric Knitting Machine. I, like I said, I did 90 rows. So it's 90 rows. And of course it's folded in half, so and this is a pretty good size for an adult um the kid is in like uh eighth grade so he's got a big head but yeah this should fit him just fine i'll have him try it on oh i don't know this week anyways Let's see how it fits him so there you go all right and this is what it looks like on. Turn. Covers his ears nicely. So this is an adult size. There you go. There's the model. <laughs> Alright. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>